Loser buys dinner. What's going on, y'all? You stole my line. You said I could help. You're right. Love having her on the channel. And today we are doing the comparison video of the Wright Standard X48, the Gravely Pro Stance 48. They're right behind us. So let's do this. All right, you guys. So on my right, your left, I've got the Wright Standard X 48 inch. On your right, my left, I've got the Gravely Pro Stance 48. So purpose of this video is a comparison. It's not to say that one is better than the other, okay, but just a strict comparison. And I went online and I got the 12 specs that you can get yourself from rightmanufacturing.com or gravely.com, okay? Now, these are their claims. I didn't get out and measure anything or nothing like that, okay? But real quickly, I wanna go over these 12 um, what I would say your black and white comparisons, okay? First and foremost, the first thing that everybody talks about, you talk about, I talk about, price, okay? That is the utmost important, what importance, what fits in your budget, what doesn't, okay? Now, when you go on rightmanufacturing.com, uh, their prices are readily available, kudos to them. You gotta call a dealer to get the price on the Gravely, okay? Now, 12% starter, starter fleet price on the right is gonna bring you in right around 8,700 bucks and price on the Pro Stance right around 81 to 8,200. So a little bit more expensive, a little cheaper. All right, got my cheat sheet here, okay? Uh, motors, they're both wearing the same power plant. Kawasaki FX730Vs on both and that's gonna come in at 23 and a half horsepower plenty enough power for these 48 inch decks, okay? Um, so definitely a similarity, huge difference between the two, deck mounted, frame mounted, okay? Now, forward and reverse speeds, 9.5 miles per hour forward, nine miles per hour forward, 5.5 miles per hour in reverse, three miles per hour in reverse. So a little bit faster going forward, a little bit slower, much faster in reverse, much slower, okay? Fuel capacity. This one's got eight gallons mounted right here on the left side. And Pro Stance has got a nine gallon tank mounted in between the rear tires, uh, you know, not in between them, but right up top, uh, center mounted. So you get one gallon of fuel capacity advantage with the Pro Stance, alrighty? your hydro pumps, your wheel motors. Uh, similarity on both, both hydro gears, uh, 12cc pumps, no difference there. And cut height on both mowers, you start at one and a half inch and you go all the way up to, on the standard X, all the way up to five and a half inches and on the Pro Stance up to five. So half inch advantage to the X. Weight and length, okay? Standard X comes in at 900 pounds. Pro Stance comes in 25, uh, 25 pounds lighter at 875. And length, Standard X, 65 inches. Pro Stance, 63 inches. I'll throw up an image real quick. The two inches of length, the uh, reason why this one is longer is because on the back, there are some what I would call like anti-wheely uh, uh, wheels in the back that keep you from you know going uh, completely backwards whereas the pro stance does not have those wheels back there now on this mower you stand between the rear wheels on the pro stance when you fold the platform back down uh, this mower is considerably longer than the standard x Alrighty, casters rear tires on the front of the standard X, you've got 13 by five by on a six inch rim. Pro Stance is a little bit beefier tire, 13 inch with six and a half inch width and a six inch wheel, okay? So Hannah has zoomed in. You can definitely see the difference. Uh, these are definitely beefier, alrighty? Rear tires where all your traction is on the standard X and the Pro Stance you both got 
20 inch diameter tires on eight inch wheels. The Pro Stance has got a half inch width advantage over the Standard X. 10 inch wide tires, 10 and a half inch wide tires. And having both of these mowers out mowing, I could tell that there was a little bit of a slope stability advantage with the Pro Stance over the Standard X. And I think it comes from that overall one inch of, of traction advantage that this thing has with the rear tires and the front, ca uh, front casters. And lastly, something that almost is as important as the price of these mowers, warranty, okay? Now, this could be up to debate which one is better. Um, on paper, the Pro Stances sounds better, but when it comes down to it, it just depends on how you're going to use these mowers, okay? On the right, you've got a two-year commercial, and on the Pro Stance, you've got a five-year, 1,000-hour commercial. So if you go over the 1,000 hours before the five years is up, uh, let's say your third year mark, you're outside of that warranty. Um, but they do have a two-year unlimited hours on this. When it comes down to it, they're, they're dang near equal, and it's just gonna uh, come down to, you know, which one is for you, and you're gonna have to demo them to find that out. I have thoroughly loved both of these mowers, okay? So, let's dive into the likes, dislikes, loves, and hates. All right, you guys, so likes and dislikes of the Gravely Pro Stance 48. Overall, I have loved this mower. There's really not much that I don't like about it, but there's five key things that I wanna point out that I do like, and there's three things that I wanna point out that I dislike, okay? First like. Pulley covers, I really like these. They're open here on the end and they pop on and off really quickly, okay? So it's easy to clean and a lot of debris does not get stuck up in there, okay? Anybody that knows anything about these mowers knows that a lot of debris gets in there. It can actually wear your belts down. I like that they're open. I'll come right up here. Second thing that I like is that Gravely has provided this oil drain tube, which makes doing maintenance very, very easy, okay? Number three. Coming up to the control tower, the cruiser bar. Um, this is designed so that you can loosen it here and dial in how fast you want this mower to go um, while you're mowing, okay? Fourth thing that I like about this is the controls on this are very, very smooth. Um, I think I said five likes, there's actually six. So I like that the controls and how buttery smooth they are. Um, the, the fifth thing would be the side bolstering on this pad. I really like how when you're when you're on it, you can rest your knees in here and it just feels safe and secure, okay? And Hannah, if you'll come around to this side, the last thing that I like about this mower is that when you're mowing around and there's a, a chance that you may um, get into a, a scalp situation where the, the deck may scalp something or you just need to raise the deck to get over something while you're mowing. Um, this is very, very ingenious thing right here, this bar, okay? So the mower deck is down into a three inch mowing position. So while you're mowing along, if you step over and stand on this thing while you're mowing, you can pick the mower deck up. Did y'all see that? Watch the mower deck. While you're mowing, you can easily you never take your hands off the controls, but you can easily push this bar down, raise the deck up, and then go mowing again. And that can be done very quickly if there's a, an obstacle, okay? Now, three things that I dislike, okay? Um, go back up here to the, the control tower, okay? And I've never been a big fan of the kill switch being in the controls up here. Um, and, it, and it might just be because of what I'm used to with the rights, but I found myself while I was mowing a lot of times taking my left hand off and I, it would just kill the mower. So that's just, again, something that I was used to. It doesn't mean that it's a bad thing. And I know why their control for their, the kill switch is in the controls because you can fold this platform up and mow with this mower as if it was a walk behind. So that's why it's here. It, could, it can't be in the platform because that thing can be folded up. Okay, um, another dislike is when in reverse, I don't feel like this little bar right here 
is enough for you to hold on to. There was some situations uh, where I was backing up that I felt like I was kind of losing my grip because I didn't have enough to hold on to right here. Um, and you'll see on the standard X, there's a, a bigger bar, okay? And the if you'll go over on the other side hand and just get a, a shot of the whole motor right over here on the side. Um, last dislike, and this is just me, it might not bother you, um, the overall length of this mower is a lot longer because the platform on the back that you stand on, okay? Instead of kind of being in the mower, you're hanging off the back. Um, and I did find a couple instances where that was an issue, okay? So overall likes and dislikes of the Pro Stance. Um, you know, this has been a great mower and I know it will be a great mower for you. All right, you guys, likes and dislikes on the standard X48. I'm gonna start off with the front right there, the cross member where the hitch is mounted. I like how easy it is to mount front hitches on this mower if you are in the position to put attachments on your mower. It's a little bit more difficult, a little bit more expensive to do it on the Pro Stance. Okay, uh, Hannah, if you'll come over here, the control tower. Uh, I like the dual controls. I like the bar. This whole sit, this whole area right here just feels a lot safer when, when underway. Um, because there's just more to hold on to if you're, you're backing up or whatever you've got more room to hold on so it just feels safer um uh, while, while i'm here uh, i like the controls to to raise and lower the deck it feels much more natural it's a more natural um you know up and down movement as opposed to like a horizontal movement so it's much much easier to raise and lower this deck even with the engine mounted to the deck so there's a little bit more weight on this mower than there is on the pro stance okay uh, hand if you come around here to this side i like that the battery is in this box enclosed and protected and i believe it's mounted over here as a as a counterweight because of the eight gallon fuel tank being on the left side as opposed to the pro stance where everything is kind of center mounted so i like that this is protected and you've got a little cubby box right here if you need to put some trash or or whatever it's not very big but it's it's something to put something in it if you need to okay and Hannah, if you'll come around to the back side, two things that I really like back here, which is gonna contradict exactly what I said about the Pro Stance, but I like that the pad is flat. Um, I know I said I like the pad on that one with the bolsters, but um, this allows you to slide around if you need to, if you're on a slope or whatever, you know, so I can just demonstrate. So if you need to slide over or move, you can, and it's not, it's not holding you in. So uh, you, you can't have both, but I like both, so it's weird. I love the platform on this mower. There's, it's more, it's wider, so you've got more room for your feet. So overall, I love the position and, and just the setup back here, um, just because it's, it's so open. It, it makes it feel like the mower is bigger than it really is. And last, one thing I love about this mower is this pad lifts up very easily, and you can service things in here on the back if you so choose. Dislikes. Since we're back here, uh, one thing I dislike about this mower is these fenders. Never liked them, never will like them. Um, I had two standard X's. I sold one. The one that I sold, both fenders were dented on it from employees. And you can picture you're backing up, backing up, you're looking for where you're going. Next thing you know, you hit a rock, uh, landscaping timber or something. They're not very thick and they will bend. Ours did. So I've never been a big fan of those and they may have the reasonings for them, but you know, it is what it is. It also makes it harder to, also makes it harder to tie the mower down on the trailer if you're trying to strap the actual tire down, okay? Um, another dislike, uh, if, Hannah, if you will follow me around here. Maintenance. Servicing this mower is not easy. There is no room to work in here. I swear every time that I have changed the oil on this thing, um, I cuss and it's a knuckle buster. And I'll tell you why. Uh, it, it, it's just so tight in here. You, you trade room for a compact package, which allows you to get several of these mowers on a trailer. Um, so you, you gotta give a little, take a little. So servicing these things is never fun. Um, it's just, it's tough to get in there. It's tough to put oil filters on. Um, it can be done. It's just difficult. Another dislike is 
the pulley covers. Uh, I wish Wright would do something to where they're open on the ends so less debris gets trapped in. Uh, I, don't, I don't feel there it's necessary to have it boxed in. Definitely need to be covered so it's safe, but it could be opened up on the end to allow debris to allow debris to easily be blown out because let's face it, you guys that have employees and these mowers run from sun up to sundown, Monday through Friday, they may not be so apt to blow these mowers off and that debris just keeps getting packed in there and packed in there and the, the heat from that on the belts actually wears the belts down a lot sooner. So that's the likes and dislikes of the Standard X. I have thoroughly loved this mower. It's got 845 hours on the clock, no sign of slowing down. It's given me no problems. And if, if this sounds like a, a mower that would be good for you, check out your local Wright dealer and that's it. All right, you guys. So as you can tell, there was lots to love and just a little bit of nitpicky stuff that were dislikes. But I think overall, both of these mowers are pretty awesome. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Please be patient with my camera skills. I promise I'll get better. And, I think she uh, did a great job. Let us know what you think in the comments below. If you want to see more content like this, let me know in the comment section. Also, if there's anything that you saw or didn't see that you would like to know more about, feel free to reach out. I like engaging each and every one of you. And there was a little teaser clip at the beginning of this video. Stick around, see what happens. See you next video. Loser your bystander.